bull or bear? Let's see here. It looking like a can't tell my bulls from bears. It looked like a bear. <laughs> Good evening. Hey, what's up, folks? This is Brian Kuzmar with Commercial Rare Coins and Precious Metals and ConcierteBullion.com in beautiful Lauderdale by the sea. Got some strange looking little critters in tonight's uh, 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 live Deerfield Beach underwater cam. I'm sure it's some kind of uh, offspring. Uh, small fry of one of the fishes out there, but uh, man, I don't think I've ever, ever seen that in front of one of the live cams. And there goes Mr. Barracuda right there. Uh, those are a bit too small for his liking. Maybe a big mouthful would be like a mouthful of caviar, but uh, <laughs> uh, what the hell are those? Any of you fish people out there that uh, know what it is, let me know, please. Uh, meanwhile, love the new camera angle. I really do. There's so much cool stuff. You see sharks, sharks, sharks and stuff. There's our look downs going by. Well, anyway, it's not a fishing report. It's about gold and silver and precious metals. And uh, I'm going to kind of keep it quickly or kind of short tonight, folks. Uh, I always say that, then I kind of just go off, but uh, I really need to tonight. I'm pretty tired. I've got a lot going on, and um, uh, which kind of reminds me of this saying right here. Uh, uh, you are a ghost driving a meat-colored, uh, meat-colored, <laughs> I guess you could say meat-colored, meat-coated skeleton made from stardust riding a rock floating through space. Fear nothing. You know, um, you know, this is uh, very true because it re really we are. We are the spirits inside of a uh, meat-coated skeleton, uh, kind of like a little alien sitting inside our head driving these machines that uh, uh, we are, our physical bodies, which are made from stardust. And we're riding a giant rock uh, that's floating through space. So, I mean, how much precarious and crazy can it get than that? So really fear nothing, folks out there. You know, nobody gets out of this movie alive, okay? Well, anyways, and make the best of every day that you have. Uh, and uh, make sure that you, uh, if your parents are still around, make sure you give them a big hug and a kiss if, you're, uh, if you can see them. Uh, if not, make sure you call them on a daily basis because one day you won't have them. And uh, that applies to everyone in our lives. So, you know, nobody gets out of this movie alive. Well, anyways, let me uh, move into uh, spot prices right here and... Uh, uh, market is closed. Let's see. It opens in about 18 minutes. Give me one second here. Nine minutes. Well, I suspect it's going to open around the same level. Uh, let me take a sip here real quick. 166378 uh, was what we closed at today in the aftermarkets. 1963 and 9, um, 96104. What did New York close at around afternoon time? 1660. Uh, not too far. Yeah. Well, actually, the uh, the aftermarkets after New York closed were a bit higher. In uh, looks like uh, silver, and a little bit higher in gold. Not so much in platinum. Uh, but these prices are just <coughs> bullshit low. Uh, 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 paper prices right here, folks. Great opportunity, again, as I've been saying for quite some time, buy the dips, buy these nonsensical low prices. But premiums haven't gotten any better. Premiums are just as bad. Uh, availability, uh, you know, I keep getting in my comment section people saying, well, there's plenty of silver in the world, Brian. You know, there's no, there's no lack of silver in the world. Uh, uh, I don't say that there's lack of silver in the world. What I said, there's a lack of available silver to buy in the world, okay? There's a lot of silver in private investors' hands. The, all the silver apes out there, I'm sure, have quite a bit of silver. Uh, you know, there's a, a billionaire that just bought like uh, $50 million worth of gold and silver. So there's a lot of silver out there, folks, but it's not for sale. Therefore, what does that mean? Not available, okay? So please, please, uh, anyone that uh, thinks uh, uh, that uh, uh, there's not silver above ground, there's no silver out there, only deceive it themselves because I've never said that, nor has any person that uh, really understand these markets. Uh, there is a lack of silver available for sale out there, okay? With that said, um, boy, these prices are still a damn steal. Um, let me just get into, uh, uh, you know, I, 
I advertise to beat SD Bullion at Max and JM Bullion. If you live in South Florida and you can visit our brick and mortar store at Commercial Rare Coins and Precious Metals, we sell anywhere from a dollar to a million dollars worth of gold and silver. I'll beat SD at Max JM and the local people as well. Uh, but again, we're only brick and mortar at Commercial Rare Coins and Precious Metals. If I'm getting my spiel out of the way here, folks, so <laughs> bear with me here. And uh, if you live anywhere in the continental U.S. and you're buying larger quantities of uh, gold and silver, uh, we, you can call us at uh, concierrebullion.com. We'll beat all the big boys out there, uh, Miles Franklin included. All these respectable companies will beat their prices, give great service. And again, I've been doing this since 1977, second generation dealer. I uh, learned this from my father. Uh, by the way, uh, um, that's kind of who this whole beginning of this video is all about. But uh, uh, I've got good experience in this stuff. And um, boy, I threw myself off there a little bit. Uh, so if you're looking uh, uh, to buy gold, silver, and platinum, and uh, you're buying uh, uh, any amount, uh, visit us at our brick and mortar store here in South Florida. Uh, if you live anywhere in the continental U.S. and you want the stuff shipped to your house, and uh, uh, you, you want to deal with this, call us at concierrebullion.com. All right, uh, what's the best products out there? I'm giving SD Bullion love because, again, I like this company, SD Bullion. Very competitive, just like JM Bullion, maybe a tad uh, uh, JM, I, I think SD might be a, pr a public company as well now, is it? I'm not sure. Uh, but JM, Bullion, SD, Bullion, Atmex, all companies I respect, along with Miles Franklin and some of the other big boys out there. Uh, but I can beat their prices, and that's what I'm here to do. I mean, that's, uh, you know, if you're going to compete with other folks, you want to compete with the best out there. So uh, there's a <laughs> that's why I do it. Anyway, best products out there, something I'm really good at. Uh, is uh, uh, physical markets. I understand these markets well. I know the wholesale and the retail markets on uh, physical precious metals. Uh, things you should not buy. You should not buy constitutional 90%. It's been way too high a price for quite some time. Let the other suckers buy it. You should not be buying uh, 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 silver eagles because the price is just absolutely insane on silver eagles. Look at that. As low as 37 freaking dollars, folks. That's, there's no deep semblance of, uh, of uh, uh, sanity at those levels right there. If anybody has got a half a mind uh, still working and is, is trying to stack gold and silver. Uh, uh, and again, I love the product. There's nothing wrong with owning silver eagles, but the price is just ludicrous. It's just crazy. It's just stupid, all right? And that's coming from a guy that's been doing this for uh, a long, long time, and I understand these markets. Do not buy that. Do not buy it at all. Great product, horrible price. Uh, your best bet out there is still uh, kilo bars and 100 ounce bars. And if you watch last night's videos, um, you know, again, silver is getting much tougher to get. It's evident in the price of the retail price on SD Bullion over the 1,000 ounce bars or thereabouts that are bringing uh, uh, spot plus $2.60 or something like that. I mean, 1,000 ounce bars are the hardest freaking thing to sell out there, and usually the lowest premium because nobody really wants them. Big premium on 1,000 uh, uh, on ounce bars right now. That is just proof that there is a lack of quotation available silver out there for sale, not silver above ground, folks. Uh, so anyways, uh, there is a big shortage of silver out there. Your, your price right here of uh, 1963 wouldn't even indicate that. But again, this price has nothing to do with reality. It has nothing to do with real silver. It has nothing, and same thing with gold, nothing to do with reality exact. This is just a, a clown fucking world right here. Excuse my language. These prices created by bullshit paper derivative derivatives on the uh, CMA Group's marketplace uh, by their big commercial cl uh, uh, collusive clowns. Uh, but again, don't want to go there. A little tired tonight, and you know the whole uh, spiel. Um, so the best deal out there is 100-ounce bars, uh, one-ounce bar. <clears throat> well, let me uh, 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 rephrase that. Uh, if you live in South Florida and you can order, or you can order from us uh, uh, for the concierrebullion.com, our minimum, which is 1,500 ounces of silver, uh, one-ounce bars are the best deal out there. I've got them at spot plus 415 still, regardless of the quantity that you're buying them. Uh, again, if you're buying more than 1,500 ounces, I can even do better than that. Um, uh, anywhere in the continental U.S., if you, if you live in South Florida and you come by our store, again, spot plus 415, Atmex, SD, and Jane Boy, you cannot beat that price, uh, nor can any of the other big boys out there. While it lasts, okay? Uh, other than that, 100 ounce and kilos are the best deals, and I do have a great line of kilos as well. Uh, I'm surprised at how much more competitive than I can be than all these guys out there. Uh, but again, if you don't have... 
if you're if you're not if you can't call a conciergebullion.com uh, again because that is our our our, uh, our, our service our business for uh, larger deals uh, for people out there wanting to buy larger quantities and uh, the reason I can't do it for smaller quantities is because I'm just not set up to do that it's easy to uh, do a larger deal have it drop shipped and use uh, 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 wires bank wires and such not so easy for a guy that wants to buy a couple ounces to send me a bank wire which costs him 25 bucks and plus pay shipping uh, so I'm not set up as well as these guys to do that but concierbullion.com is really uh, for people looking for larger quantities uh, again, if you come to South Florida, you live in South Florida, and you come to our brick and mortar store 10 to 4 Mondays through Fridays, you can buy any quantity. We'll sell you a dollar's worth of gold and silver and platinum if you want it. And I'll beat the price of anybody out there as well. Uh, what's the best products out there in silver? Best, I mean, gold. Best deals out there in gold are still gold bars. It looks like there's a little delays in getting them. American Gold Eagles and Buffaloes are just off the hook, kind of uh, expensive right now. It's at spot plus $200 plus. I'm not even going to look right now. I'm going to say stick with gold bars, why you can get them. Uh, and at some point, I really believe that we're going to see, um, you know, less and less gold products available out there as well. Seems like gold's getting sucked up pretty much. Platinum, no one's really showing it much love. Seems like a lot of platinum out there. I don't see any shortage of platinum products at all. Is it? Look, add to cart, add to cart, add to cart. Very unloved, okay? And again, my prices are better than all these guys on platinum. But very unloved out there, platinum. And I like uh, metals that are really unloved and... There's very little downside to platinum at all, in my opinion. No, I could say the same thing about gold and silver, uh, but I like the idea of being diversified to some degree. There, you know, at some point we're going to have our oh shit moment with platinum as well. Uh, when I'm not quite sure. Uh, GATA.org, a couple good articles out there. I'm not going to read them to you. You probably have read it already if you've been viewing my videos, because I always recommend that you guys have GATA.org uh, bookmarked on your bookmark bar. Uh, Russian bank runs low on gold amid surging demand. Uh, the, even the Russian folks are understanding that uh, gold is better than rubles, uh, just like gold is better than dollars, and gold is better than euros, and gold is better, anyway, so on, so on, so on. Uh, so the Russians are understanding this as well, and uh, getting involved with, uh, because war helps no one, helps no fiat currency as well. Well, maybe it does. Maybe that's what the U.S. dollar is trying to do is, uh, actually, that is what is what we got going on right now, is we got a uh, currency war going on. The U.S. dollar trying to beat all the other fiat turds into the ground so they could be the last horse of the glue factory. Uh, but, we talk, but, 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 we talk about that all the time, not getting into that, not gonna go down that rabbit hole today. Uh, India is definitely a price, uh, boy, I'd like to see India um, uh, being a, a price maker as well, having their own markets. Pro uh, will they be any more honest in the U.S. markets? Probably not. Uh, whenever you get large uh, entities like that involved in price discovery, you've always running the risk of uh, uh, fraud and a bunch of uh, manipulative bullshit, I'm sure. Uh, U.S. mining, don't U.S. mining sanctions. U.S. mining sanctions are a fucking joke, you know. <laughs> uh, another another uh, 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 regulatory group, U.S. mining sanctions, all right. Uh, they're about as useless as the other uh, regulatory people. LBMA and comics running out of silver fast. Well... Good article by Ronan Manley, uh, but again, nothing that's news to us folks. But great articles out here. Highly recommend that you read some of these. I'm going to get into uh, yesterday's video, which is the silver shortage is real. Uh, let me answer some of the uh, 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 comments down here. Uh, quite a few comments, and let me get to the bottom of that. If I make you dizzy, I make myself dizzy too. Hang on one second. While I'm going down here, let me take a sip here. I guess I'm at the bottom of the page already. Sorry about that. Uh, Rob F. gives me a big American flag here. Kudos to you, Rob F. I am a patriot, but I am a patriot for my country, for uh, uh, the land that we have here, the people in it. Uh, I am a patriot for uh, the, uh, my constitution. I am not a patriot when it comes to the war, you know, the industrial war machine. I'm not a patriot when it comes to our current media. I'm not a patriot, uh, or I say not a patriot, I am a patriot. Uh, but uh, I'm not too pleased with those entities along with uh, 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 our politicians and our current form of government. I love our government. I just don't like the people in it. Does that make sense? Uh, be well. You too as well. You be well. <laughs> you be well. I be well. You know when you said too many f problems when your mom, yeah, mom called me. Short in the middle of my video last night. No, she wasn't watching. Um, <laughs> probably a good thing. Uh, yeah, she watches my videos once in a while. She, and of course, 
moms are always like that. They love most, you know, good moms. Uh, they love everything that you do. Uh, uh, you, you can do no wrong. Oh, I love my son's best. <laughs> That's my mom for sure. Uh, but uh, no, my, my dad's uh, kind of a little bit on the ill side. She was calling to like, give me some progress updates on him. Uh, so it wasn't about the F-bombs. Uh, Brian, thank you very much. Zane, um, we are shoving silver and all crash. It was painful. Uh, you know, too much information. TMI, Zane. Too TMI, Zane. <laughs> uh, exactly. Yeah, the rectal treasure hunts. There you go. I think someone misunderstood what you said, Brian. You said there's a short, yeah. Uh, you said there's a shortage of silver for, uh, uh, not there's a shortage of silver. Absolutely what I said. There's a shortage, oh, for sale. Yeah, that's exactly what I said. There's a silver shortage out there uh, available for sale, not above ground. There's a lot of silver in above ground, tons of it. A lot of it in dumps is too as well. We've talked about that in landfills, a lot of silver in landfills, but a lot of above ground silver. Uh, how much of it is available, though? That's the key question. And Silver Liner, you're absolutely right. Rasputin, thank you for the math. Uh, I was a little bit ignorant on that stuff last night when I was talking about, you know, how they figured tons and gold. Is it metric tons, troy tons, whatever? I didn't know, but thank you. Everybody has their level of stupidity and expertise. I can tell you where mine's at. Gold, silver, precious metals, and a few other topics. Uh, but certainly not when it comes to uh, metric tons. <laughs> Thanks, man. The shortages are real. Take more time to delivery. Crimex is killing himself to deliver something. Yeah, true. Uh, you are. Uh, thanks, Christopher. Uh, you are right on the point. Thank you, Caesar. Rainbirds, a thousand ounce being bar sliced by. Yeah, you know that slicing stuff is pretty cool. It's like slicing a loaf of bread. You know, but I'm kind of curious. You know, if if uh, bison bullion and silverback precious metals are um, kind of. I won't say LBMA rated, but if they're like respected, well-known uh, refiners that are doing this, then the resale value probably won't be too, too bad. But I've seen a lot of, and there's nothing wrong with it, don't get me wrong. I've seen a lot of backyard and garage slicings and bar pours and stuff like that, which I, to me, that's like art. Uh, but as far as reselling it to other dealers or you reselling it to a finer refiner, no way. If it's not one of the big refiners they recognize, uh, then they're going to just uh, buy it for scrap and throw it in the melting pot. Uh, so uh, be before you start buying uh, garage pours and private pours, and again, I love them. I think they're beautiful. I look at them as art. Uh, remember that refiners don't look at them in the same way. They're going to look at them as a scrap minus. Okay. Right, anyways, thanks, Rainbird. Appreciate it. John Gordon, uh, I'm a monkey hammers, monkey hammers uncles. <laughs> Silver Geddon, man, you're putting a time on it, John. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna pretend I didn't see the time on there because you know, putting your, you, you know, you, you, you're putting yourself out there. I've done it before a couple times, uh, making you know time frames, and I'm, I'm over it. I've been over it a long time. You could just never, ever underestimate uh, the Fed. You can never underestimate the crookedness of these markets, and you can never underestimate uh, people that can just print unlimited money. Thanks for watching, John. Appreciate that, Paul. Yeah, I kind of read into that. It's a little deeper. Uh, trauma transformation, isn't that about children and uh, uh, doing your transformation from trauma as a child? Uh, spiritual gold. Pretty cool stuff, though. Read about it. I understand all this stuff, Paul. Uh, but uh, <clears throat> not goes into, well, anything that you do for your soul and the betterment of yourself is always good for uh, your investment as well. Uh, but no less, I did read it. Uh, thanks for mentioning that. There's no shortage of silver. Uh, 105 grams are plentiful worldwide when these bars are be 100 ounce and 5 grams are plentiful. Uh, not really. They're not plentiful. If they were plentiful, they wouldn't be trading at 3 and 4 and $5 uh, per ounce premiums. Uh, plentiful, they'd be trading at spot plus $1.50. And even more so plentiful, they'd be trading at spot or minus $1 spot, which I've seen 100 ounce bars trade for plenty of times when they were plentiful in my lifetime since I've been doing this since 1977. So not really true, but you are right. When these bars disappear, I mean disappear, not available for sale, uh, yeah, that's even a bigger uh, sign that uh, we're deeper down that uh, negative hole. Uh, thanks, Gunslinger. Source, uh, yeah, I saw that. Numbers are kind of funny like that, aren't they? Thanks, uh, Scourge. Uh, Linda, what's up? Todd Le uh, Level says the reason Russian had freedom uh, along with her. Uh, yeah, it's true. Can't argue with that. What happened to the peacemakers out in the world? Why do we have a bunch of fucking warmongers everywhere, including our government, the media, even the left, the so-called the so-called peaceful peaceniks on the left? 
uh, um, have turned into complete fucking warmongers when it comes to this uh, nightmare in the uh, Ukraine and Russia. Not going to go there, though. You know my opinion on that stuff. Um, oh, thank you, Jeff. I feel the same about you. <laughs> Donald Desno. Uh, I think the banks just give collectors the old bills at face. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, 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 they used to give you bills. I know that. I used to get a lot of tellers that would bring in cool bills and silver coins. I uh, hope your day is well done. Old Kosi says you can't get silver at spot, but you can get spots on your silver. <laughs> Milk spots. You know, when silver is dead and nobody's, you know, back in 2015, 14, 15, and 16, um, and when nobody had any silver, I mean, when there was nobody buying silver, it was kind of like sideways. It was in that 14, 15, 13, 16, whatever it was. Uh, and it was very quiet. Uh, silver Eagles were actually selling for spot plus a dollar fifty wholesale, okay? Uh, but the problem is, is when you went to sell silver eagles when nobody wanted them, they were opening up the fucking rolls and looking at every milk spot. Oh, this milk spot, I want to pay another dollar. That's because they had, the demand was low for them. We got anything but that now. Uh, so uh, when, when the markets just die off, milk spots are a problem. When the markets are hot, nobody gives a shit pretty much. Uh, Rick, what's up? The premiums are 90. Yes, they are. Um, <clears throat> Uh, no, they're not going to go any lower, maybe, until the prices start going up, but they're overpriced. Stay away from them. You know, my best advice to anyone out there is buy the least expensive premium for a recogni industry recognizable product that you can find. Uh, Fifth Avenue, that show is funny as shit. I kind of followed it last year, and a little I'm not a TV watcher either, believe it or not, but sometimes uh, uh, I'll sit down, turn the TV on, flip some channels and stuff, and. Uh, uh, so I don't know why I caught that show one time. I said, that's just, that's just funny. Um, <laughs> then again, everybody has their uh, sense of humor there. Some of you might find it just plain stupid. Uh, and all, uh, different folks, different strokes, and different saddles, and different asses. You know the routine. Keep stacking. It's all about the pop faster. Let's hope. Uh, silver cognitions. Um, and pound, the U.S. dollar is taking a tumble to um, secure the U.S. economy. It seems when the dollar rises against the pound, silver shoots up here. Interesting. Uh, uh, um, um, you know, thing that you saw, saw the pattern that you recognize there, silver cognitions. Uh, honestly, I just really am not following the UK uh, uh, pound like you do. I really wouldn't notice it, but I'm sure there's probably some significance in what you're saying there. Hey, thanks for watching. Invisible Stacker had bought one ounce of silver every day in my payday. Uh, would not regret it and miss. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. Uh, thanks, Invisible Stacker. And 13 bucks on. Yeah, that's just crazy. Strongman says, don't think you, uh, physical man, should be driving spot pace. Not the. Yep, absolutely true. Enjoyed your company, gave you some dropping the F-bomb. <laughs> I can place it. Well, I'm appreciating anyone that can appreciate a good F-bomb here and there. I just got to be careful not to just get like angry and nasty, like an angry, nasty old man just sitting there cursing all the time. Uh, you know, usually when I throw them up there um, or throw them out there and spit them out, uh, it's just, you know, a little bit of passion coming out. Really, it is. Ah, uh, Brian, yeah, I gathered that right there. According to Mike Maloney, good silver is one to ounce of gold for 500 ounces. Boy, that's just a weird, I never thought about that, how much old gold you should own to silver. I never thought there was a ratio. I just thought you bought whatever you thought was cheaper at the time. Thanks, Anonymous Andy. Uh, tons is metric tons, yep. Yeah. Thank you, Silver Coin Hunter. I appreciate that. I was kind of pretty ignorant on my, uh, 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 my conversions last night. I wasn't too far off, but I was still pretty ignorant on it. Thanks. Love the knowledge. Hope silver explodes. I'm using silver as a long-term savings. Beautiful Wayne Wynn. Totally agree with you. Agreeing what Paul says. Blasphemy. Yep, yep. Uh, rewarding puppets that we were talking about, Bernanke. You're absolutely correct, Ryan R. Joe McDonald's. What's up? Uh, Roy, uh, thank you very much. Your opinion on silver, junk silver being scarce. Well, they only made so much of it. There's a ton of it above ground still, but none of it's available for sale. Again, don't confuse above no silver with... Uh, uh, um, like there's no silver above ground. There's plenty above ground. How much of it is available for sale? Uh, Michael, what's going on? By the way, my throat, a little cheers to you. Mm. Evening red wine report. Um, spot plus 10, that's a pretty damn good price. Um, I believe that uh, shipping is a problem for a lot of folks. If they do that, you're okay. Uh, but I'd sell them for that BWB. I think that's a really good price. What I'd do is I'd call Atmex and say, listen, I'll send you my Silver Eagles for spot plus 10 bucks. If you send me, uh, uh, let's see, kilo bars or uh, any other 999 product, uh, generic product for uh, spot plus four uh, to five dollars. 
This way you're putting $5 an ounce in your pocket, which you can use to buy more silver BW. Uh, see if they'll do that kind of deal for you. I'm not quite sure they'll make special deals for customers like your local brick and mortar. We, you know, here at Commercial Rare Coins and Precious Metals, and we would do with uh, ConcierBullion.com if you're dealing in larger quantities. Um, BWB, thank you very much. Nice to see you uh, 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 commenting there. I haven't seen you before, I don't think. Uh, either that or I'm just forgetting and getting old. Hey, listen, thanks, Wall Street Silver. Apes out there, you guys keep stacking. I'd like to thank all your support. You guys watch a lot of my videos as well, and you share a lot of them. Uh, and I, I appreciate all the nice comments, too. And the uh, 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 moderators of Wall Street Silver, you guys are really cool to me. And I uh, appreciate you letting my videos up there. I guess there's a few folks that did notice that I, I kind of went on Twitter. Been on there a long time, never, ever even looked at it. Just recently started. I uh, got a few uh, comments here from Full Spectrum. Uh, I'm not quite sure who they are, but uh, what did they say? Uh, I'm on Twitter now. They said, okay, cool. Thank you for noticing. Um, and Rainbow Six, absolutely. I appreciate you watching my videos and commenting on my Twitter account now. Uh, what else did we go? Uh, maybe, uh, maybe we can get him to show off some of his own collection. UnitedStatesPaperMoney.com uh, or Old Paper Money. Uh, whoever posted that, I'm, I'm new to this, I still can't figure out who's who. <laughs> Give me a call at my uh, store, Commercial Rare Coins and Precious Metals 10 to 4, and maybe I'll discuss on doing something with you guys as well uh, and uh, talk about collectibles and coins because it's something I know just as well as I know. I've uh, been doing this since 1977. My father's a, uh, 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 you know, I learned a lot from him and I've grown up in this business. All right, well, anyways, uh, uh, you can catch me on Twitter as well. Hey, folks, thanks for watching. If you're uh, anywhere in the continental U.S., United States, and you're looking for a good gold, silver, precious metal dealers, and you're buying more than 1,500 ounces of silver and more than 100 ounces of gold, uh, give us a call at concierbullion.com. This is kind of like a little private service. We don't have an online uh, a website where you can just order stuff. This is over the phone. It's personalized service. And again, for larger quantities, um, we do traditional forms of uh, uh, secure shipping, uh, and we also do bank wires, no credit cards, no uh, uh, PayPal's or anything like that. This is a uh, traditional style of doing larger deals over the phone. Uh, but again, uh, if you live in anywhere in South Florida, and, or you can visit us at our brick and mortar store, we sell anywhere from a dollar to a million dollars worth of silver and gold. Uh, very competitive prices. We advertise to beat all the big boys at Max SD, JM, and William as well. Uh, so again, keep us in mind, we're open 10 to 4 Mondays through Fridays. I've been in this location since 1995 as well. Uh, hey, listen, thanks for watching. Have yourself a wonderful evening, and I look forward to talking tomorrow. Uh, good night now.